Hi guys, Shomofo here, and today we're going to be playing Nomoria. Nomoria is a sandbox village management game where you help lead a small group of gnomes who have set out on their own to thrive into a bustling kingdom. Anything you see can be broken down and rebuilt elsewhere. Craft items, build structures, set traps, and dig deep underground in search of precious resources to help your gnomes survive the harsh lands. Build your kingdom and stockpile well to attract wandering gnomes to your cause, but be wary also of attracting enemies. Hell yeah, it's an awesome game. Um, I'm terrible at it. So, um, this is another one that I can thank Avak for um, getting me into. Uh, I was having another look through his channel and uh, found some very entertaining videos there on No Moria. Uh, and to be honest, if you're looking for tips and tricks, then possibly you want to be checking out Avak's channel. And um, also Filter SC, I had a quick look at for some tutorials there. Um, and they were very helpful, um, but I am still just a total, total noob at this. I haven't got any any games to load. It's going to be a new game. <laughs> Puke stand. I I don't think so. Um, hmm. I'm going to... Let's have a look at Bothering Coil. Level Lord Toad Strike. Land of Holiness, the Joked Land, the Club Kingdom, the Candied Land. Land of Fins, the Haggled Land, the Smoldered Land, the Fairy Kingdom, the Strong Seam. Well, that's that seems promising. Uh, hmm. Seed Crown. Irony Lung, the Voided Land. Oh, I just spend all day going through this, looking for names. Um, the Wispy Cell, the Land of Armors, spelt wrong, the Letter Kingdom, the Primitive Kingdom, the Land of Palms, the One Kingdom. Well, seeing as that's what we've got at the moment, we've got One Kingdom, um, I believe we'll start there, and we're going to start on Standard. And, uh, thank you very much, we'll have it set on Normal. Um... I'm really, really terrible at this um, at the moment, so I may end up starting a kingdom on Peaceful just to kind of see what I'm meant to be doing and how I'm meant to get my build orders and stuff out. Um, micromanagement is just, it's terrible on this, I keep getting tunnel vision with things. Um, but uh, for now I'm going to leave that on normal and we're going to go to the advanced setup and we're just going to have a preview of this. Well, straight away I can see we've got blue stone. Um, not sure what that is. Um, we've got fruity trees, pine trees. Uh, I can't see any birch on there. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I like that seed. So, let's just have a look with another seed. Okay, um, can't see if there is any stone on this one. Um, we've got fruit trees, we've got pine trees, I can't see birch. Um, but it looks, looks okay-ish. Uh, I'm just going to have uh, another little go. Random seed. Okay, um, so this one's got a nice flat space already pretty much set to go. Uh, I've got some hilly funness there. I've got some water for a well should we need it. Um, we've got fruit trees, strawberries, cotton and birch. We've got birch and I think um, this will do us. And so... Um, I'm going to generate the terrain. Now, um, all of these settings are just the standard settings. Um, if you want to have a look at the seed there, it's 4280203840. Okay. Uh, and everything's set just default for the time being. 
and we're going to generate this and once I start generating this may take a while so I'll see you in a moment and we're still generating the map oh oh dear and then you know you think it's all over and what happens what happens when you think the map's generated should be done now should be done now no it's still not done my word this takes a while to do and then we have to settle liquids oh Oh my word, well I'll be back again in a moment, hopefully on the map. Hey guys, well we're in, and we're on our lovely map, um, and I'm still getting used to all the controls and things. Um, I've gotten rid of the uh, little toolbar down here, and I have actually set a few custom keys up for myself to kind of speed things along. And... Wow, this is this is looking very nice. This is looking very nice indeed. Now, of course, you're going to want to have a look at the population. Let's see our kingdom uh, is currently worth uh, 1687. Um, and that's just from the stock that we have to start with. Um, diplomacy, we've got the Fired Land, which is a merchant city-state. And then we're going to want to have a look at our population. Oh, fantastic. Um, now, these starter professions are all pretty much awful. And you can have a look at uh, Filter SCs or a Vax channel on kind of getting an idea on how to start those off. I'm not going to do that here. I'm not going to give you any advice on this game whatsoever until I've got the hang of it. Because, you know, at this point, I just don't. And I welcome any, any kind of advice. <laughs> please, please help me. I have just been binning game after game off after making horrible mistakes, after being killed by everything. So, um, what I am going to do here is I'm just going to import um, some professions and these are not strictly filter SC's recommendations but they're fairly close uh, and the main difference is is that you know a lot of them have got uh, they've all got the um, medic stuff assigned to them and I've also put up a starter military and you know when I got this game Nobody told me that you could import and export these. So the first couple of games I played, I had to set this up every time. Every time. And it was just awful. So I'm just going to save now. I've also disabled um, the autosave. And so I've just got to remember to save when I can. Um, yeah, so on my military, I've just got a civilian uniform and a militia uniform and for the start the main reason for that is so that my militia guy who I'll assign one guy to will pick up all the decent armor and weapons that we've got and the civilians won't bother with that for the time being also so that my civilians can have a way of the gnome um, and they're not they're not really going to need maintain distance um, or retreat uh, for these things but you never know there may come a time when I have to quickly um, get them tooled up and ready to attack and it'll be handy to have those things on there um, in formations uh, it's so they can have keep your eyes open they don't perform attack orders um, they defend gnomes and avoid enemies uh, let's see squads I need to get onto that in a moment. Um, but for my militia, uh, I've got that set to frenzy, and he's just got everything on there. Um, 
Will they share uh, best defense and performing attack orders, defending gnomes? Um, haven't got that set to avoid enemies. Maybe at this early stage in the game, that should be set to avoid enemies. Um, no, no, I'm going to leave that as it is. Squads, we'll have to get to that. Okay, so if we have a look at population in the professions. Um, unlike uh, Filter FC, what he'll do is he'll tell you to delete all of them and then redo your own. Um, I didn't do that. All I did was um, I kept all of these ones and deleted the ones that weren't on this table. And then I just renamed them to how I wanted the names. Like obviously Farmer didn't get renamed and Miner didn't get renamed. Um, but we don't have any Cowboy Gnomes, so I didn't need a rancher. Uh, builders are laborers, I believe, and woodcutter a woodsman. Um, so, what that means is I don't have to change over, uh, like my builders, I'll be changing to laborers. My farmers, I don't have to change. My miners don't have to change. If you don't know, it will automatically assign the best guys to the kind of default jobs that are on the table here. Uh, rancher is going to become a herdsman. Um, and my woodcutters are woodsmen. But I didn't have to go through and change every single um, thing. Uh, okay, so my best miner um, in terms of stone carving and masonry, 26 and 19, 26, 25, right, you're clearly going to be the stone mason. Um, and the same with my woodsmen, uh, the highest. It's going to be you, and you're going to be my carpenter. Okay. And on the overview, my default uniform is going to be civilian. Um, so I haven't set a specific uniform for any any of these things yet, except on militia. I'm going to set his uniform to militia. And in military, um, we're going to set up some squads. Okay. And our first squad. Oh, we have to do new squad. The trench clutterers. Nope, nope. We're going to have our first. reserves. Um, and these guys are going to be all the civilian guys who aren't specializing in jobs at the moment. Um, so we can have our miner, but we don't want our stonemason or carpenter. We can have our woodsman. Uh, we can have a farmer in here and a farmer and a laborer. Uh, one of these farmers actually uh, will probably be swapped out at some point. And I'm just having these in a squad so that should I need to, I can arm them or, or unarm them and get them in. I can train them up a little bit. Um, when I've got, you know, if people aren't particularly doing a load of tasks, I could get them on some training. And it just means I can organize them into a military squad should I need to. Okay, and we're going to do our second reserves. And these are the guys, um, oh, let me see, I didn't put, they want to be a civilian squad. Not militia, no, a civilian squad. Um, I, I don't like how this, these, this keeps happening, and it's just a little buggy thing, and it does annoy me. And also, the this menu, I would really like to have a bit more wiggle room in terms of the size of the mouse over area for the different menus and sub menus because that does cause me a bit of problem sometime um, where were we military okay so squads we want to look at our second reserves they want to be civilian too not militia really give me a bit more wiggle room on those drop down menus please. I'm a bit clumsy with them being that small. 
these are the guys we really don't want to be having fighting who are generally going to be specialising in skills and therefore quite valuable to our colony. Herdsman, okay. Uh, so that's five and three, that's eight. That should leave us with just one guy. This is going to be my first militia. And he's going to be in the militia formation. And quite handily, thanks to Filter FC, uh, I should be able to pick him out from the list, but I haven't chosen him yet. So, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to Population, go to Assign, and if we have a look here, um, at the moment my Labourer and my Militia are essentially set up the same. Um, so, I'm just going to randomly, randomly choose one of them to be my militia guy and then I'm going to pop him into this squad and handily I can see that he's the militia guy okay and now everybody should be, there shouldn't be anyone left who isn't in a squad Yep, so we're all fully in squads. Okay, so I'm just going to save. Now that I've got that set up. Okay, and resume. Now, one of the things that confuses me quite a bit is what's stored in crates and what's stored in sacks. Uh, in bags, rather. So, I'm just going to have a look at this bag, if at all possible. Okay, so we've got our wheat. Now, let's have a look at the cotton bag. The cotton bag contains seeds and seeds. And then there's just straw piles. We can just see the straw pile there. Okay, and the pine crate, the top one, contains strawberries. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Second one contains bread and the third one has got items and bandages ah right in previous games I've tried to put bandages into the bags which hasn't helped at all okay well that's cleared that up for me um, what I'm going to want to do is to start setting things up Ah, <sighs> tricky, tricky stuff, and it all depends on where we're going to be and what we're going to be doing. I want to, um, right, and I say that I want to. It's not going to be the case, is it? You know, I'm bound to get tunnel vision. I'm bound to be just absolutely awful at this, in all honesty. Um, I'm terrible at terraforming. Um, I've really not got to grasps with that quite yet. Okay, we've got a, a chasm here. Now, does this take us down to any any stone? Oh good, it looks like we've got stone. So, stone is very important first off to get my crude workbench out. Um, and we can see that goes down quite a ways there. Um, what kind of stone is it? Bauxite. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Okay, um, well. I'm just going to uh, pause this now. And I'm just going to have a little think about what I'm going to do to set up and how I'm going to have things initially. I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, I've had a little look around. And um, I think one of the things I want to do is try and not spread my guys too thin and try not to take on too much at once <coughs> oh excuse me um, so we've got this lovely lovely flatland space so I don't want to get straight into terraforming a mountainside or building any kind of elaborate setup um, have my guys running 
all over the place. The uh, pathfinding in this is a little bit strange and I'm not quite used to the sort of logic behind it at times. It's let me down in the past. So I'm going to try and keep everything simple. Now, generally speaking, um, you'd normally throw out a stockpile of a dump for everything, but I want to be a little bit more organized than that. So we've already got a stockpile here and if we're starting around here on this nice flat bit, I don't see any need really to have a bunch of guys moving this stuff from one place to another place. Um, so, very first thing I'm going to do, uh, as soon as it's on this lovely bit of flat land, is uh, I'm going to do a bit of agriculture and I'm going to set these guys just to forage these strawberries here. Okay, and we're actually foraging these trees too. Um, so let's expand that, let's get this tree forage, we've got some strawberries in there as well. And let's just have, at, uh, just for the time being, a stockpile right here. Um, Of fruit uh, because I'm not sure whether those trees are orange or apple I don't really want to specify that this is a temporary pile of fruit so I can see what fruit we're getting from these trees um, our yaks are going to need um, they're going to need some uh, pasture um, to be set up on and I'm probably going to want to have that relatively close to my wheat farm um, so, for the time being, uh, seeing as we're right here, I'm going to designate an area, uh, pasture, where should I have it? I think for the moment we'll have a pasture it's quite large because uh, I'm probably not going to want to uh, change my pasture around. How, how many would that support? Yaks. That would support four. Um, I can drop that down to two. Okay, it won't let me put that up. Hmm. Well. Let's have that set for two males for the moment, in case I want to uh, switch them out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this works. Uh, you know, I haven't got a butcher or anything set up yet. Um, we've only got one male. Um, so for now, let's leave that set, and their food is going to be ending straw. Okay, so that's going to be our pasture, and then we're probably, uh, I'll need to get troughs in here as soon as possible. I thought they just ate straw, but I think they need to eat it from a trough, so we'll need to get those out as soon as possible. Um, and let's build a farm, and if we say, have the farm back as far as here, and have a nice big nine by nine crop of wheat and don't make the mistake I've made in the past of accidentally doing strawberry when you're thinking you're making a wheat a wheat farm okay and for the time being let's designate an area here um, we can stockpile it's under plants. And we're going to want wheat seeds in there. Um, grain. Wheat straw. 
straw. I'm not sure the difference between straw and, and wheat, if there's a process involved between the two, or whether wheat is straw and straw is wheat. No idea. Please explain the difference to me. Um, okay. Um, I'm not going to bother moving these crates or barrels because, again, uh, it would be nice to have barrels and crates there for stuff. Um, but I'm not too sure what goes into what and also I don't see the point in un unstocking all of that just to get a crate up this early on. Okay. So, uh, we've got fruit, a fruit pile, we've got our pasture for the yaks, uh, we've got our wheat farm set up. Um, we know we're going to have strawberries. Agriculture farm. So, for the time being, um, let's start a strawberry patch here. And in fact, you know, let's not stockpile Oh, it's the it's the only one we can do at the moment. Ugh. Okay, that's that's gonna have to. Oh, I'm gonna have to organise that. There's no point in me designating a strawberry only patch for there and a, a fruit one there. We'll wait to see what these trees are. I think I think they're apples, um, but they may be oranges. These may be apples, and these ones here may be oranges. So we'll see. Um, and I'll want clippings of those, but I'll wait till we've uh, got the fruit off them. Now, um, we're going to want pine. So, we'll probably get some clippings from the pine. Um, so, I'm just going to take a few clippings from these guys. Um, then I am going to fell all of this lot here. Um, that should be enough to get us started. Um, and I'm just going to designate an area for the time being. to pop all of our wood and woody goodness into. Again, I'm not sure what, what the different bits are that we'll get. I'm sure that later on I'll have piles for clippings, piles for various different logs. Um, and I'll want to be able to differentiate between where I have pine and birch. Birch isn't a priority at the moment. Now cotton is. Um, so again, I'm going to want to forage all of this cotton and I think we'll have this from over here and let's take this from over here and we're going to want a starter cotton farm And we can probably do that. Uh, can we? Can we though? We haven't got any cotton yet. Let's see. Farm. No, we haven't got that option. Okay, and I'm going to need stone. So, I'm just going to tunnel in here. I can see there's definitely stone there. So we can just tunnel into this part and then I can get building some things. Okay, how are we doing for time? Okay, well, 
I think um, we'll wrap it up here and I'll pick up in the next video uh, once we've cleared this stuff off um, as we're going. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.